It is finally fall, and hunting season has started in Finland. In search of small game, we travel north to Puhakula, a quiet town in northern Kainu. On this week-long trip, we have over 10,000 hectares of public hunting ground to explore. We are on this adventure with my good friend Kalle. Here, we are given an opportunity to lose ourselves in the pristine Finnish wilderness. What a great way to take a break from the hustle of work. So welcome to another episode of Kova Expeditions Out for Adventure. All right. We are here. This is Remo. He's ready to find all the birds that I I get, right? He only speaks Finnish. But what a place we have arrived. It's I think five o'clock ish. Right by a lake, right by a stream. We have a sauna, great cottage. I think we're gonna have a blast here. This is looking to be a really good hunting trip. Welcome to north of Suomussalmi, Pyhäkylä. That's Kalle, and that over there is his dad. And uh, we are finally here in the hunting grounds. We're scouting out places where to go. That's what you get for playing around with the camera. Just had a grouse fly right over me. And, uh, far out there in the, the very top of the tree, but it's good that there are birds here. That didn't take long. We were all but 10 minutes and Kalle got the first one. I had to run a little bit, <laughs> so I'm a little bit winded out. Had it coming about 20 meters from me, shooting on the fly. Knew I hit him, he was sliding down and running away. I ran after <laughs> after it. Uh, Catch your breath. Got, a, got a two good shots on it. Last one was through the head. Just knock. Damn it. That's my first couple nickel. So or, or maybe that way. Experience. I got lots of experience. <laughs> Five times worth of experience. <laughs> no, but it's, it's, there, it's all worth it. There are some black roots that are scared sheetless right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Today is cold and rainy, to stay warm as we sit still for hours, hoping to catch black grouse on their morning flight. We have hot tea at the ready for when the cold starts to win. As we wait, we are treated to a herd of reindeer passing us by. They roam these lands free and are many people's livelihood here. Our waiting today does not pay off, and so we head to the car. After a change of clothes and a snack, we head out on foot into the wilderness, walking in the rain for kilometers on end. We've been walking, what, 
eight hours. Yeah, something like probably around 10 kilometers in total. Yeah. Scared off a set of birds there and then uh, heard of a reindeer. Yeah, heard of Came in between us and scared some of the birds and... It is what it is. It is what it is. Last run of the day. Let's go. <laughs> we just couldn't help ourselves. We saw one bird as we were driving through the road or on the road here and had to grab <laughs> grab the gear start looking for more time to heat up the sauna again it's every day or every afternoon you gotta have it does so good for your sore and aching muscles after a long day of hunting and trudging through swamps and forests and it's rained and you're cold I don't know how people in other countries do it I definitely need a sauna and as saunas go this one right here is a really good one But what you gonna do? <laughs> we were, we were just discussing last night how to make coffee and what the the proper portions of coffee to water is. But I'll make do. I'll make do. Tomorrow he makes the coffee and I get to complain. <laughs> Chase has been on for about an hour. I've uh, seen the same bird, I think, three times. Pretty sure it's uh, Capricilla. Haven't had the chance to put it down yet. Got two shots off earlier, but missed. Surroundings are fantastic. There's some sort of scouting tower. Let's go check it out. Lunchtime. A hearty sausage cooked over an open flame and coffee. There is nothing better than coffee made this way. Full of energy, we head to a new area south of our cabin to explore. Seems that everywhere we go, we are the only people there, which we take full advantage of and enjoy the fresh air and the sunshine. So, Kevin, what do we have here? Well, right here we have a hazel grouse. Okay. Uh, which I shot. I'm uh, grabbing some feathers for uh, a friend of mine that fly fishes, you know, really appreciates these. And we actually took some from Kalle's, uh wood grouse. Yeah, or capercaillie. Or capercaillie, whatever yeah. it is. We, we know these in Finnish, but not in English. <laughs> but uh, so this is a hazel grouse. Here we have a female black grouse, which Kalle shot, as well as the, the wood grouse that Kalle shot and prepared earlier and is already in the freezer. So that's yeah. what we're working on this afternoon. Yeah. 
Oh, I have broken the chest also. Final morning. Boy, is it looking to be a good one. Oh. Hopefully there are birds in the air and we get some good shots off. As the sun rises and starts to warm the air, the birds take flight. As I fumble around with the camera trying to get you a view of a grouse perched on a treetop, I am caught off guard as another hunter scares off a pair of grouse. The result, I miss, but the hunt continues. It's nine and a half degrees, something like five, six meters per second of wind, but uh, we're going hunting. There's a big storm here during the summer and there's thousands and thousands of hectares of, of forest that have uh, fallen over like this. A third of the hunting grounds that we originally had were, were closed off because it's so dangerous to walk in them. Here's some of the aftermath. Fairly certain that's a, a bird nest, probably a black grouse. They dig into the to the ground. Pretty cool. There are birds here. So give it a little summary. Exhausting. Yeah. We are absolutely beat. And we are calling it quits at two o'clock. So like four hours before the sun goes down, but two very good reasons. Call it. Yeah, uh, there's a little bit of a wind, wind uh, something like six to eight meters per second, constant. So <laughs> in Kansas it was over 10, and uh, it was raining. Uh, it was a uh, fine mist, but it gets you wet. And it wasn't coming from up to down, it was coming from left to right. So. <laughs> We're calling it quits before fitting. We're done. Yeah. We quit, yeah. <laughs> and uh, the yeah. white flag. We're gonna go back. There's our French flag and the white one. <laughs> We're gonna go back to cabin and uh, get the sun out and ready. See you all. Yeah. I would say it's the right time to leave. The weather turned into, well, pretty wet. <laughs> So uh, we're packed up, last check, time to go. Thank you so much, Salome. Thank you, owners, to the owners of this cabin. We'll be coming again soon. Thanks for watching. Global Expedition, out. <laughs>